So we just had some very exciting news come out from different Packers reporters. I'll share this one here from Mike Spofford, who said, QB Jordan Love practicing for Packers Wednesday, wearing a sleeve on his left leg, not practicing wide receiver Jaden Reed and offensive lineman Elton Jenkins and Jordan Morgan. So I am pretty shocked to see that Jordan Love is actually practicing today, Wednesday, when the Packers still have practice Thursday, practice Friday before Sunday's game against the Tennessee Titans. And we have to remember that Jordan Love was questionable last Friday, which made me think, okay, maybe there's a chance he plays. He went to doubtful on Saturday. Then I shared earlier in the week that Rob Domofsky of ESPN shared that it wasn't a, a charade about Jordan Love potentially playing Sunday, and it seemed that he was somewhat close to playing. And so I think this fits in line with that narrative, with him being back at practice on Wednesday. And so we've been wondering... Was Matt LaFleur bluffing, trying to make the Colts think that it could be Jordan Love, so they had to prepare for two quarterbacks? Honestly, I'm leaning towards Matt LaFleur being completely honest, and I think that these days in the NFL, it's probably pretty risky to make things up on the injury report if the NFL actually were to ever figure out that you were doing that just for competitive advantage. Not to say it doesn't happen, but with Jordan Love back at practice today, I would say that makes him playing on Sunday a somewhat good chance. I didn't think he would have been practicing on Wednesday. I would have thought maybe Thursday or Friday he would come out for the first time and potentially be questionable going into Sunday's game. And so this looks to me like there's a good chance Love plays Sunday considering he was out there at practice. He does have a sleeve on his leg. I'm guessing when the injury report comes out later today, maybe he'll be limited. But this is a great sign for the Packers, who I think have confidence in Malik Willis based on what he did in the game against the Colts. But obviously, you want to have Jordan Love out there as soon as possible. And so this is a good sign for his injury. And it looks like he's recovering pretty rapidly. So we'll keep an eye on this the rest of the week. And if you guys want to hear a video I did earlier today on the Chicago Bears and the harsh reality they're facing right now with the offense and Caleb Williams, I made a video on my second channel where I cover non-Packers topics. So if you want to see that, you want to see my content that is focused on the rest of the NFL, you can go subscribe over there by clicking this video here. Uh, but thank you for watching. If you want more Packers content, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.